Hey guys, we have here our JBL GO 3 wireless Bluetooth speaker and as you know in order to charge the battery we need our traditional USB type C connector here in order to plug that in and then the battery will charge. Now in this video we're going to convert the GO 3 to a wireless charging speaker so we don't need the USB cable anymore. But instead we can use one of these wireless charging stations just like this one so as soon as we are going to put the Gold 3 on top of here, it was going to charge automatically and wirelessly. And all we need for this conversion is one of these wireless charging coils. And they are pretty cheap, so this one for example cost me under $3. And all that it is, is just this copper uh, coil here, and then a small PCB that is connected to, and then two wires to connect to our speaker. And just to show you how this is going to work, we have here the uh, emitter coil, so this is the one that we're going to, uh, in this case, plug into our USB port so that we get the 5 volt input. And that is pretty much the same as what we find inside one of these wireless charging stations. So right now we're going to connect this here to our 5 volts so that it is powered. And then we take our receiving coil, and here I'm going to connect this right now to my voltmeter. So see right now it shows 0 volts. And as soon as we get close to the uh, emitter coil, then we will see a change here. As you see now, we're going to receive 5 volts, and if there was a battery connected, it would charge our battery. And now all we have to do is install our charging coil here into the GO3, and then it is going to be ready to charge wirelessly pretty quickly. Okay, so we start out by uh, disassembling the GO3. The first thing is we're removing the two caps that we find on the side of the speaker. I was using my simple pocket knife in order to do that. There's a couple of pins and clips that hold uh, these covers in place, but it's relatively simple to remove these. Then right underneath there we're going to discover two small Phillips screws. So there's one on each side, so let's remove those. And then next we're again using the prying tool and we're going to go through the seam at the bottom of the speaker. So we're just going to pry this in there, push this uh, tool in here, and then we're going to pop off the uh, cover just a little bit. And then we still have this big rubber piece here on the back side. We're going to remove this now. And this is held in place by uh, six clips. So there's two on the long sides and one each on the uh, short sides. Again here we're going to pry in here with my uh, pocket knife. This is relatively easy to do, just pop it loose. And then underneath there, depending on which model of Go3 you have, you may find a couple of screws. So there may be four screws here in the corners. And if you have a different model than I do, then you may not have any screws here at all. So in case you do have screws there, now it's the time to remove those. And at that point, we can now detach the grill cover from the rest of the speaker. And up to this point, the speaker is still waterproof, so we have not broken any seals yet. But this is going to be the moment that we have to make the decision. Do we really want to open it up and eventually cause it to not be waterproof anymore? So of course we want to proceed. And we're going to find six screws that hold the back cover onto the rest of the body. So we're going to first remove the six screws. And then we're going to find the seam here. And now we're going to... Uh, pry again here in one of the corners and we're going to open up the back cover. We have to be really careful now because there's a wire connecting the battery which is inside of the uh, cover here on the right side. You see this the green battery and this is connected here to the uh, motherboard with the uh, cable of course. So make sure not to accidentally pull on the cable too hard. There actually is some glue on top of the connector for the battery so that it doesn't accidentally unplug itself. Uh, but now let's find the uh, perfect spot for our charging coil. And that would be here on the back side. Here on the outside right where this uh, blue cover was. Just have to find the correct orientation. So I think this one is good. Because right now we have to feed these two wires that go through the small PCB. We have to feed those through a small hole into the uh, inside of the speaker. And now right in the center we have that big green battery here in the way. So we can't route those wires through there so we have to kind of go um, onto the sides and we are going to have to create a small hole here 
And there's, I think I found a perfect spot here. You see this little uh, injection hole here, I think, right there. I'm going to uh, use that and I'm going to expand this first a little bit here with my uh, pocket knife. And then in the end, I'm going to use a drill in order to uh, create the uh, big enough hole for the two wires. Of course, you have to be really careful not to puncture the uh, battery while we're doing this. And then we can feed through the two wires from the charging coil. As you can see, I have previously unsoldered the charging coil from that small PCB. And then we're going to have a close look at the motherboard right to the side of the uh, USB charging port. So if we zoom in here, we're going to see a couple of writings here. One is GND, that's for ground. So this is where we connect the black wire. And then we have here plus 5 volts. That's where we're going to connect the red wire of that small PCB that we have uh, from the wireless charging coil. So see this right here, black one on top, red one goes where the 5 plus volts is. So all we need to do is add some uh, flux here, put a little tiny dot on each of those points and then solder the uh, wires right on here. And then it's time to reconnect the charging coil to that small PCB. We're going to do this really quick. And luckily the inside of the speaker has enough space, enough, enough clearance for this small PCB. But in order to prevent this to get in contact with any other of the internal components, we're going to wrap this in some electrical tape so that there's no, not going to be a short any time. And then we can already close up uh, the speaker. We're going to be careful here so that we don't accidentally pinch one of those wires. Then next, of course, we're going to put the six screws back in. You should have two different types of screws, like a shorter version and a longer version. And for the back cover here, we're going to use the six longer screws. Okay, so then we have here the hole still for our charging coil and the wires. So I'm going to just put a little dot of hot glue in there so that the uh, speaker has a chance of being waterproof still. And then we still have to make a small adjustment on this back panel here because of those two wires here those are going to be uh, in the way for that white plastic so I'm going to shave off some of this plastic here on the top where it's going to be in contact with the wires and I'm going to just uh, quickly try this out if this works if we can put the cover back on you see that it's it is bulging a little bit but it's okay actually it will work and then we have to take the cover off for a minute again because now we want to reinstall the grill, we're just going to slide the speaker right in there and then going to press a little bit on it and you should hear a couple of clicking sounds. And in this case here we still have the four small screws that go around the cover. And then of course also the two screws that are on the sides. And don't forget about the side, side covers here. So the one with the two buttons, find the correct orientation and then just press firmly and the cover here should go into position and should hear a couple of clicking, clicking sounds. Same with the other side with the charging port. And then the last step is the back cover. So we're going to uh, press this on here. Also uh, consider the right orientation. Make sure we have the right side where we made that little cutout. And then at this point we are pretty much done. And it's time to check out if our new conversion here works and if we're going to be able to wirelessly charge at this point. So I have here my transmitter coil and we're going to get close with the speaker and you see immediately the LED, the charging LED, turned on as soon as we got close with the speaker here. So let's try this again. Just put it right on top of the emitter coil. Bam! And we have charging. So now we have a wireless charging JBL GO 3 Bluetooth speaker and by the way we can still alternatively use the USB cable this still works as well in the way that we uh, did this so yeah this was already it for this video I hope you found the information helpful uh, let me know if you have any more questions or comments and don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>